Hey guys, just before we get started in today's paint today, I want to let you know, no, it is not sponsored. However, it is in tribute to my good friend Jonathan, who reached out to me to create an awesome piece for his new song, Galaxy Girl. If you guys want to go ahead and give the song a listen to, it is playing on Spotify. I will leave a link to it in the description. Go ahead, go and show it some love, and it's always greatly appreciated. Alright, the first thing we're going to go ahead and get started with is sketching out, as always, what it is that we want to paint for today. For the eyes, I am not going to be sketching them entirely, however, I'm just kind of marking where it is that I want them because I jumped into this paint not entirely knowing what it is that I wanted to do, so I was leaving a little bit of room in case I changed my mind on any type of design. After that, the next thing we're going to do is a brow block. Now, I am not good at these whatsoever, however, I keep trying, but I did get some expert tips on how to make my brow block last because I constantly have the issue of it pretty much coming off and not working how it's supposed to. But she gave me a tip basically saying that instead of going straight in with water activated paint because it is a washable glue, makes sense to go in with either a cream paint first or a another paint with a different formula oh, I could see Mars and Sutton. I couldn't tell anyone some things that you'll never see this gleaming altar she was my destiny using black body paint I'm then going in and just creating a rough design of how it is that I want the eyes to look space and stars beautiful galaxy your promise it's me and you lost in the planet's orbit in hopes of finding you hey! Then going in with a dark green and kind of blotchy pattern, this really has no rhyme or reason to it that doesn't need to look perfect or anything like that. It's purely for a base coat so that way I can go ahead and put the custom green color over on top of it. Then going in with that custom green color, which was made by mixing green, a little bit of white, and yellow all together to create more of a lime green color, I went ahead and just painted everywhere that I had painted green already. This also required quite a few coats because for whatever reason, it just didn't cover that well. Late one night, the stars were shining bright. The sky was foggy, but you could see that cosmic light. Went straight outside, and driving down the street. But the shooting star. I'm then going in with a dark green eyeshadow and hollowing out the sides of my face and just making my face look more slim. You I travel through space and stars, beautiful galaxy girl. Promise it's me and you, lost in the planet's orbit in hopes of finding you. The shining quasars moving faster than the speed of light, way past the moon. 
I'm also trying to slim up my nose and make it look a little bit more elongated and I've never really done this before however I do know that I have a crooked nose so when doing this I had to pretty much exaggerate one side over the other to make it look a little bit more symmetrical. Space and stars, beautiful galaxy, your promise it's me and you lost in the planet's orbit in hopes of finding me. Next up is hair, which is my absolute favorite, and I'll give you five seconds to go down to the comments and let me know what you think we'll do for hairstyles. And if you guess space buns, you are correct get it space buns because it's outer space alien i thought it was funny anyway i'm also not good at space buns so they kind of look like antennas but oh well i'm also going in right at the bottom where you see the edge of the green paint we're gonna add the latex and then a cotton ball which i have stretched out to kind of be like a rope and i'm just pushing that into the liquid latex after that first layer of latex and cotton is dry, I'm then going over top of it with more latex just to secure it in place. Once that's dry, I'm then going over the cotton ball and liquid latex with a concealer to make it look a little bit more flesh tone. And using a tweezer and then peeling up the latex on just certain edges to make it look as if the alien has bursted through the skin. Then using purple and red eyeshadow, we're going over that area once again, just to show a little bit of trauma to the skin. Say one night, the stars were shining bright. The sky was foggy, but you could see that cosmic light. Went straight outside, driving down the street. But the shooting star, her beam was pulled through me. You were my galaxy girl out of this world. Now we get to add some pretty highlights to our alien eyes. Double through space and stars, beautiful galaxy girl, promise it's me and you, lost in the planet's orbit. And my absolute favorite part is to always add just a little bit of fake blood. Does that mean I need to put a gore warning on this video? At what point does a video need a gore warning? I guess that's something I have to look up now. She was my destiny. You were my galaxy girl out of this world, my love. Finding my way to you, I travel through space and stars. And our final step is to accessorize with some black nails and just pose for the camera. Hey! 